नमस्ते वन एंड ऑल वेलकम टू द न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ इंटरव्यूज विद आर्टिस्ट बाय एड स्कोर एंटरटेनमेंट माय नेम इज मोहित देश एंड टुडे वी हैव विद अस विदुषी सुश्री दीपिका वरद राजन जी विल बी डिस्कसिंग फ्यू थिंग्स विद दीपिका जी अबाउट हर जर्नी इन म्यूजिक ऑफ कोर्स एंड मेनी मोर क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू म्यूजिक अगेन दीपिका जी बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपका थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच एंड होप यू आर हैविंग ग्रेट टाइम हियर इन संभाजी नगर एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली एंड दिस इज माय फर्स्ट टाइम हियर इन संभाजी नगर एंड इतना अच्छा लगा थैंक यू वेरी मच सो टुडे शी विल बी परफॉर्मिंग इन उस्ताद डॉक्टर गुलाम रसूल खान संगीत महोत्सव हियर इन श्री क्षेत्र शंकर मठ तांदुळवाडी संभाजी नगर सो दीपिका जी टू स्टार्ट विथ at what age you started with your journey in music uh well actually uh, my mom is a professionally trained classical singer her yeah, name is geeta yeah. vardrajan uh so she used to practice at home and uh, even though she was working for lot of movies in uh, yeah. the south but she used to practice classical music at home so probably when i was about 3 years old i used to listen to her riyas and then you know sing those little uh, phrases uh, and kirtans mm-hmm. and all of that by myself Okay. So the first time that I sang on stage was for uh, uh, Dr. M. L. Basanta Kumari's uh, 64th birth anniversary. Oh, great! So I had sung the invocation uh, for that program. So that Super. was my first great. time. Yeah. So your journey in music started just like as observational learning kind of yes. a thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I think that is the best way to start learning anything. Yeah. So absolutely. if you have those things at your home. Yeah. And you are getting it, you know, uh, uh, by your generations all together right so it is like how, how many generations uh, there have been in your family to be in singing and performing uh, arts as far as uh, we know like both my uh, you know dad side also they are not professional musicians but they are you know lot into singing and okay. uh, learning music and they are very very interested in classical music so cool. on both the sides it's been like i think we are the third generation and the third generation musician yeah yeah so see the third generation so those who think they can learn music in just 2 years or 2 months or now they they you know there are workshops they they conduct for 7 days and 10 days and they declare that you'll learn music in 7 days it's not possible sorry guys you need generations all together to reach this stage where she is right now cool super cool so primarily you started learning the carnatic style yes. of music yes yeah. i started learning from my mom tell us about that yeah so my basics and all of that was with my mom no yeah uh, but my dad vardrajan he was uh, you know very in- persistent that you know i needed to start learning formally with gurus like yeah. with teachers mm-hmm. outside of home basically yeah yeah so i learned with few other very senior musicians so os tyagarajan sir and bairam angalam oh. narayan and vithal ramurthy garu so oh, i okay. learned carnatic music with them prior to coming over to uh, sudha ragunathan yeah, from yeah. 97 Ninety seven. Yeah, oh, yeah. long back. So, uh, just as you mentioned, you uh, your father was insisting a lot, you know, to, that you should learn from a guru outside of the home. Yeah. So, would like to know whenever uh, you were learning with your mother uh, herself. Yeah. How much there was a pampering? How much there was a strict protocol when it comes to riyas and sadhana everything? No, but honestly, at that age, it's very difficult for yeah. anybody to like sit down and do practice in the kind of quality that you know probably yeah. like, when you do when you are grown up and when you understand the music. Yeah. But one thing that was very nice at home was they were very particular. Like they never asked me like, do you like music or do you want to go to classes? Yeah, yeah. No, it was never like that. Like just as I had to go to school, I had to go to music classes. That's yeah, yeah. So, so that was like, like kind of a obvious encouragement. Obvious, obvious. So I had to okay. like anyways do it, and they knew that I had the natural flair for picking up the songs or you yeah. know even the fundamental exercises pretty easily. Yeah. So that again is like I think God's gift, God's blessing. That's it. So there yeah, is nothing so that you know we did to it that you know we got this. So it's again blessings of the God. Extremely sorry for the disturbance outside. we are conducting this interview in a place where we actually cannot have control over things 100% so actually so yeah so dipika ji coming back to the topic uh at what point of time in your life you thought that no this is something i want to make my career into 
Okay, so I think I was lucky enough to get opportunities professionally from my childhood. Like I was training in classical music, but I kept getting opportunities to sing for movies, to act in movies. Yeah. So that was like it just happened by itself. Like I said again, my mom was into film, so yeah. people knew me there, and music composers knew me there. And uh, while they had called for audition for a Telugu movie called Little Soldiers, I went yeah. for the audition. and uh, my voice got selected it's nothing beyond that so the voice got selected and then i got to sing about four songs in the same movie oh so that so was like cool. a start point and people kept hearing uh, you know my singing and they used to call me so the yeah. opportunities were like going on side by side which was like professional yeah professional but you singing. need to really be into the flow of that uh, work culture no yeah yeah so if you are not into the flow you're out of the culture and so. one is like you are with the, with the case of uh, you know recordings or anything to do with uh, the independent music industry or film industry is like you just need to be ready 24/7 yeah, yeah, yeah. no priorities no priorities no priorities no yeah. priorities so you don't even like get calls to you know say like a day before a yeah. lot of time so it's like now there is a recording can Man, you go okay, this okay. so you are like just always just before the night yeah, yeah so yeah, there's but, no question of warming up or you yeah. know like fine tuning your voice so your voice and your you know art should be you you should be ready with your art and voice yeah. 24/7 definitely yes okay okay yeah and uh, as you mentioned you got to chance uh, got a chance to act in films yeah so uh, there were uh, a thought stuck your mind that you should also try acting or something not really because uh, uh, the tele serial that i did for k balasundar sir that required a lot of singing so i was there in the project because of my singing okay he so he chose me first place because i was a singer an actor so, who can sing yeah <laughs> gayak nat so in so, marathi yeah, right. sangeet natak right. uh, culture there used to be like bal gandhar baji yeah uh, like uh, master dinanath mangeshkar yeah. so they they used to act and they used to sing, sing for their right. own character Yeah. In fact, that's how we did the serial. We had no dubbings. Yeah. It was live recording. So live in recording. In the sense, yeah. of course, not to this extent, but yeah. <laughs> no, sense, that is altogether a different different uh, world. Yeah. World. Yeah. So coming as we started with the uh, Sangeet Natak thing, you have also sung so many Natya Sangeet. Yeah, I mean, I've been fortunate enough to learn a lot of these uh, masterpieces. I should say. Yeah. So uh, just a little of those. of your choice for okay. our viewers <laughs> and listeners shurame vandile shurame vandile dharati the tapaje aacharati senapati yashayachi vale shura vandile shura ni vandile super 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 so this this uh, version of yours yeah. have got very famous uh, amongst yeah. uh, itunes and uh, hangama or gana.com everywhere right and most uh, yeah most uh, it got famous on youtube also yeah yeah but definitely very nicely sung by you and thank you <laughs> uh, tabla you know lot of different mixes right. by prasad pardey right. ji and arranged amazingly by amit pardey yeah. yeah yeah so coming so next question leads again so to sing this uh, sangeet natak or natya sangeet mm -hmm. you need to have some background of classical music yeah definitely you already had a background of carnatic classical music but you also sing hindustani classical with the same equal uh, you know what we can say equal power hmm. so tell us about your journey in learning hindustani classical music uh well it's it's more like a fairy tale i should say because um, trust Before me before you continue sorry to interrupt See I have you know seen very few not even very few I I, I can't, can't even count the names if I forgot anybody's name of I have not come across I apologize but I see Deepika ji amongst young young musicians the only vocalist who can present 
Carnatic classical as well as Hindustani classical with the same, uh, uh, you know, caliber and talent. So it takes a lot of courage to even think about learning both of them. Hmm. So my background is like Hindustani classical. Yeah. And uh, now if I at this age I, I start even think of starting uh, to my journey into Carnatic classical, I get scared. Hmm. So how, what? Where did you get this courage from? Yeah, so like you're saying, it's it's quite um, you know unbelievable, and it's more like a fairy tale. Absolutely me. unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> no, for me, from my side, I'm saying uh, because you won't believe in Chennai. If you see the number of Hindustani Shastri Sangeet concerts happening, is hardly yeah, like yeah. it's close to nil. Yeah, there is like, no chance of getting five. some scars of that culture also, no? Yeah, so we yeah. hardly get to listen to the music per yeah. se. So um, there was this movie called My Name Is Khan. My by, name is Khan. Okay. Yes, by Shankar Ehsan Loy. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a huge fan of their compositions because they're extremely classically rooted. Yeah, yeah. Whatever they do. Yeah. So I was listening to the album and uh, then I heard this song called Allah Hi Rahe. Okay. So that was by I saw the name and it said Ustad Rashid Khan. Okay. And trust me, before that I've never heard any of his music. Okay. So then I was like I was very curious because this the voice had so much impact and it was. So perfectly tuned with the sur, so yeah. the kind of impact that it had, I probably cannot put into words. Yeah. So I was like, I immediately googled and and on YouTube I started, uh, you know, looking for Ustadji's music. Yeah. And the first piece of music that I heard was Kanare by Ustadji. Yeah, a little for viewers. <laughs> so I have heard your version also. I have heard Ustadji's version also. Kanare nanda nanda na. And then I decided that it was not about even Hindustani music. I said like, yeah. if I have to sing in this lifetime, like God has given me this gift of singing, singing gift of voice. Yeah. So if I have to sing in this lifetime, I should be able to create this impact yes. that Ustaji had on me. Yeah. It could be in varied terms for very various people. Yeah. But when I sing the quality of music, it could be just a sharaj yeah. or just one note or one line or one yeah. song. But this is the kind of impact that. I should be able to produce when I'm singing. Yeah, to sing. others. Yeah, you know, yeah. whether it's one person or many Google, people. Yeah. So then I thought like I should definitely learn this style and you know learn learn the way of singing and uh, you know every note is like so soulful. Yeah. So that was one thing that really captivated me and then I started to look for you know from where I could search and I was very particular that I wanted to learn Ustadji style of uh, you know this gharana basically. Yeah. So he is your inspiration to learn absolutely, this style absolutely. of music. Yeah. That's the source basically. And uh, then I think I was very lucky enough that uh, my guru. So he Prasad Kapoor, Ustadji senior most uh, disciple. So yeah. he took me under his wing, and I think I've been very, very fortunate. Again, like you said, it's God's grace, Guru's blessings. Yeah. So how uh, how could you meet your guru, Prasad ji? Tell that us about that story. <laughs> yeah. It was like I at random, I just with no introduction. So I just yeah, picked okay. up the phone and I said, uh, Sir, this is like I'm calling from Chennai, and I'm like already a Carnatic musician. I sing, perform concerts here. But I would like to learn from you. Yeah. So, so Guruji he asked for like some samples of my singing, and uh, that was in no connection to Hindustani yeah. Shastri yeah. singing, but it was just like samples of me singing. And uh, he was fine with it. He liked the way I sang, and then he mm -hmm. said like, okay, we could, you know, start our formal lessons. So I started learning, learning, and then I met him later. Okay, so you started learning online itself? Online okay. initially. Okay. Initially. Okay. So, uh, because uh, he lives in Nasik. Yes, yes. Uh, we're from Chennai, so it's like uh, by you know at that point in time we had like hardly stepped out into uh, this part of the country even. Yes, yes. Mumbai was one place where we used to come for yes. performances, and that's it. But uh, oh, Nasik is nice city, anyways. Oh, it's a yeah. lovely place. It's yeah. a lovely place. Yeah. So now let us come to the core music uh, yeah. question. So. <laughs> What dissimilarities? Obviously, there are dissimilarities mm -hmm. in Carnatic classical and Hindustani classical. 
but uh, which are the points you would like to mention uh, you had to struggle a uh, little with oh i had to like really um, you know one interesting thing is like um, the similarities are also as much as the dissimilarities are yeah so yeah. it's sort of like you have to kind of skim through and yeah unlearn certain things and yes, you yes, relearn yes. so type of that but we definitely worked a lot on akar akar mm-hmm. yeah akar was one thing because uh, even the language here i think it demands that yes yes so we have like a mixture i wouldn't say like completely r based yeah whether it's telugu or tamil it's again it's like a, a yeah. mixture and you know yes. and we do even improvisation we do a lot of uh, uh, na or you know ta yeah yeah again like as per the rules or as per uh, the hardcore rules that is set we are supposed to be doing a lot of improvisation in a uh, even mm-hmm. in carnatic music and okay. take the ala but invariably it becomes like the the re you know yeah. a lot of uh, yeah. nonsense yeah. so we had to like keep them aside for a couple mm-hmm. of years and focus just on a uh, so. yeah another uh, you know beauty of carnatic classical music mm-hmm. is gamak yeah 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 so a lot of gamak i uh, i see in carnatic classical yeah. and uh, traditional compositions yeah so even in uh, hindustani classical there is gamak yeah but it is in a different uh, uh, style we can say it is it is like for example so like, what similarities and dissimilarities particularly about gamak you would like to mention see for ragas like say like um, kalyani yeah who's equivalent we have here as you know yaman yeah more or less equivalent i would say because i'm not going scale based the notes yeah. could be same but the treatment is very different treatment is different yeah so for that we can sort of come to common grounds and say like for example ah i would take a phrase like that yeah. in yaman yeah so if i were to sing the same thing in carnatic music i would probably do as ah na na yeah so little bit of difference but you can see the commonalities commonalities are there but there is but no- for ragas like thodi Yeah. in carnatic music yeah i am yet to uh, you know come across uh, similar patterns of gamakas in uh, other genres of music for example ta na 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 a na ta da ra ra na da so it's yeah. it's very unique to that raga yeah. in you know that genre of music yes Sometimes it's very surprising. I hear some Arabic songs, and you yeah. can hear traces of traces Carnatic, of Carnatic music, music there. there. So yeah. it's very nice to observe that. Absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah. So next question is about the tal aspect of the music. Mm. So again, the tal aspect. I think it is very yeah different in Carnatic music than the Hindustani classical music. I mm. don't know what it. Just tell <coughs> us about it also. the one is like even if we take a, a you know like a chauka kalakriti or like something which is equivalent to vilambit yeah similar to i wouldn't say equivalent to we still put the talam we keep the talam by putting the talam yeah like this yeah so like for example like kaate ke ya kaange ya gauritanaya karuna so if there's a yeah, composition yeah. so every so mantra you have to put on so it's basically 1 2 3 4 it's like really slow yeah yeah but if i were to do like mero manat ko so yeah. for me the tal is like in the air so <laughs> yes, that was yes. one thing which is very very difficult to you know understand it as a concept because Uh, this is like I am working with a system which I have been trained for yeah, 25, yeah. 27 20, yeah. years, and then you know I try and learn something. Then it was like it's very challenging. It's yeah. it is still challenging. It not, is still challenging. No, past is it. It's like a way of life. It's not it a destination. Is. Yeah, yeah. It's never a destination. So how many years uh, you have been uh, learning uh, Hindustani classical music? It's been about nine years now. Nine years, yeah. okay. But. Um, it's really like a miracle so a vocalist can present carnatic classical as well as hindustani yeah. classical with the same caliber 
God's yeah, grace. Yeah, yeah. God's grace, but you know, you also have to be receptive, and yeah. you need to have that potential. If yeah. the superpower is trying to put something into you, yeah, you should be receptive to it, and you should be having that uh, necessary preparation. Right, right. From yeah. within. Yeah. So that comes, as you said, by the you are third generation singer. Hmm. So this is also one of the genetic factor I think that, which must have worked for true, you. True, and, true, true. And of course I have definitely. And the sanskaras. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and like uh, Prasadji, my guru, he also like really worked very hard to yeah. get these concepts. So you know, like yeah. for me to learn them from the scratch. So yeah, yeah. and I. It's not I just really, your hard work. It's also absolutely, his absolutely. hard work. And really liking the style so much is like because when I'm driving or you know when I'm. And yeah. I'm just sitting at home, so constantly the music plays, so it yeah. becomes learning after a point. Yeah. It's no more passive listening; then it becomes like active yeah. listening. Active to listening. Music. To yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's obvious you have to listen a lot if you want to learn Absolutely. something. Yeah. You just mentioned about the unlearning part. Hmm. So, which are the factors you had to unlearn to learn Hindustani classical? For example, like when we start, um, you know, improvisation, like we start the raga alapana. Yeah. So we generally take quick phrases uh-huh. in succession. Like for example, uh, uh, I'll take rags like uh, okay, even Thodi for example. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. I would have probably sung like some fifteen, sixteen phrases. Yeah. So in this time frame, uh, my guru says, sing one note or two notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, be... What is the rush? Like where are you even rushing over to? So. Yeah. <laughs> this is the biggest difference. So I this was made. like yeah, because don't... it's a mindset change. It's like. Calm down, breathe. Like yeah, sing, yeah. breathe, calm, sing. So it, you know, it used to be that way. In fact, I have these things written down on the wall that I face in my Riyaz room. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. I am like in a big paper, you know, like these sticky notes. Okay. So I'm like calm, singing, and breathe. Okay. So you okay. know that way. So I've got a lot of these, uh, mm-hmm. you know, notes that's there right in front. Capital of me. bold yeah. and huge font. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you have. Uh, also sung for movies in uh, south yeah you have not sung yet in bollywood not in mainstream as it yeah <laughs> okay but you'll soon sing for bollywood as well <laughs> and uh, i'd be very eager to listen to your song <laughs> yeah but you have sung uh, marathi songs many abhangas you sing for your channel and your yeah, yeah. Uh, insta profile and yeah. i think we you have done one project with Electric Foundation? Uh, yes, couple yes, of them. Couple actually. of, yeah. yeah, okay. And you have worked with so many music directors, music mm-hmm. composers. Tell us about that experience. As you said, you have worked with Shankarji. Yeah, yeah. So he is the biggest thing in the music industry. Absolutely, in India. absolutely. Yeah. And um, you know, with Shankarji, I think, like I said earlier, huge fan of his work and yeah. his uh, uh, singing. So it is a lot of learning when you sing. perform with him on stage yeah one is like th- there's this entire band that's playing like full on for his yeah. songs because you know his songs are like upbeat all the time yeah. but the kind of perfection to sur that he has yeah. and the way he intonates it's like amazing like we are wearing yeah. our in ears and we hear this pitch perfect singer yeah. in this kind of a stage yes, that is completely yes. open audience you know, is making noise yeah, audience everything. is making noise it's absolutely perfect he'll be like yeah. screaming one moment and the next moment when he starts like the gana nayaka it's like mm. it is so beautiful it's like yeah. really really uh, absolute perfect singing and uh, that's one thing and the kind of uh, person that he is yeah it's just like after i got to know him on a personal level it's really he's an inspiration Yeah. By all means, like how he deals with earth, absolutely, and how he deals with people, and how he, uh, you know, is genuinely affectionate with people and genuinely yeah. wishes well for other musicians. That is like something. The stardom doesn't uh, get absolutely, over it. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, yeah, super great. 
so you have uh, sung with him live on stage as well yeah so there is a tamil song தங்கம் கரையுதே அங்கம் அரையுதே வெட்கம் உடையுதே முத்தம் தோழரதே சொக்கிட்டாரே போ That's my favorite. Yeah, I I don't song. understand the lyrics, <laughs> but I listen it a lot of times. Yeah, you listen it even correctly. So obviously, you listen it a lot of times. <laughs> so I I'm extremely sorry <laughs> I interrupted while you were singing, no, but no, I could no. not resist myself. <laughs> This composition is so nice. Yeah. Huh? yeah. And you have sung. Uh, you have worked with some new upcoming musicians as well. Yeah. the there is a guy who resides in maharashtra his name is mohit deshpande you okay. worked with him also <laughs> so how was the uh, experience working with him so i think that was like a very very interesting project because geographically we were all like yeah you know apart but i think the final amalgamation came out so beautifully yeah. and the composition as such in uh, you know the thought that from parameshwari to go over to uh, you know bageshri and come back so all these things were like i think it just came together so beautifully and uh, very very happy that all of us could make this and uh, you know bring out a good musical content yeah so we could not discuss these things before but today we are together sitting yeah. for an interview yeah. <laughs> i would take this uh, opportunity and ask you what kind of feedbacks you got uh, mm-hmm. about sri ambava istavan oh i think we we've, we've got we've been uh, you know really blessed in that sense because the musician circle from there they really liked it okay they really liked and uh, you know like for example like my guru uh, sudha ji so she yeah. really liked and she said it sounds very peaceful and very serene calming and you know a very nice composition and again kala didi kala so didi she yeah. really liked the composition yeah we were actually very blessed yeah. that she, she launched her song. song yeah yeah so from especially from the musician circle i think it's it's received like really good feedback the lay rasakas to you know they really liked it because yeah, yeah. it was very not uh, comment in the musical terminology maybe yeah yeah, yeah okay so a little of amba voice tone for a few years oh, like oh my god <laughs> asking you your experience about the blockbuster movie bahubali uh. so in many of your interviews you have answered uh, all the questions about uh, yeah. bahubali you've been asked by the interviewers but uh, uh, did you know that this movie is going to be such a blockbuster when you when were I, asked I, for this title song oh bahubali? not at all in fact i didn't even know the name of the picture okay yeah so they called me to uh, audition again okay so yeah. they were doing with bunch of voices yeah so uh, kirwani sir uh, the previous evening he just sang the first two lines over phone and he asked me to no oh, okay sing after him so i sang and then he was like i said let's try and you know yeah. like you have your flight booked tomorrow morning that's it oh so uh, i went over and then he gave me the lyric and the tune and he said like let's start recording well, i just service. started recording yeah yeah okay. i think we started at Nine o'clock. The concert was for nine o'clock, and he said, "Like, okay, let's, you know, do it in the loop. Yeah, that's his style of yeah. uh, recording, and he doesn't take many takes. Okay. So he's like, he knows exactly what he wants from the singer, and he yeah. sings himself. Okay. It's very easy mm-hmm. to follow on. So uh, I sang, and then he was like, 
okay thank you like i think we were done by like 9:40 9:45 oh is it <laughs> no but i think the your part which you you sung in yeah. that title song that is all ad lib if i'm not wrong it seems so it has a yeah. very minimal music minimal part. music part yeah yeah so then uh, then we had no news yeah. and then just before the audio was going to be released they just called up to ask how my name needs to be spelled that's okay. it so we were not at all you know aware of yeah. what went through and then his manager mr basha he mm. told me that they had audition for a lot of singers oh. because then i had gone i was the only person okay and then i was like they said okay you don't even have to like stay longer next play please catch and you can start back home oh. so uh, they were like you know that quick so yeah. they just wanted what needs to be recorded and they knew what was needed for the song so they okay. finished off and then later he said that I was very lucky because a lot of people auditioned and finally they picked up on my voice for Tamil. Okay, okay. So I made you sing so many songs <laughs> and your voice also needs some rest. So I'll not start ask you to sing the title song anyways. But uh, instead I'll try to sing it if you yeah, don't mind. Please do. <laughs> uh I I'm sorry for the lyrics I don't know this. Uh Miru Kundaval what is the next thing? Super! I finally made a sing. <laughs> That was a trick. Don't mind. Yeah. So after Bawali, you have worked for Thani Orwan. That was again a big yeah. blog was done. I had dubbed for Thani Orwan. Okay, you dubbed for Thani Orwan. Yeah. You are not sung for that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How was that experience? Which character you dubbed, by the way? Um, one for the English. Okay. Character, the English lady, and the other one was for uh, Nayantara's friends role. One of those I guess. Okay, okay. So I've sung for middle class abai. Yeah. That was again a yeah. blockbuster in Telugu. Yeah. So in how many languages you've sung, by the way? Um, the southern languages, Malayalam, Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, okay. and uh, Hindi, and then I have also sung in Sanskrit, of course, Sanskrit and. Uh, you've dubbed for uh, Abhinandan Shakuntalam. Yeah, Shakuntalam, yes. Version, yeah. yeah. Those who don't know, she has done her graduation in Sanskrit literature. she is an it engineer and she is very more so so many personalities in one <laughs> versatile character diverse for you yeah so you need to be that great to reach this stage also yeah now talking about your uh, future projects which are the upcoming projects we recently we are uh, you know rolling out this series on uh, Select verses from this Tamil literature text called Divya Prabandham. Okay. It's a um, spiritual text. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so we have, like, I set tunes to those verses. Those verses are many thousands. Yeah, composed by you. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you know, I sang it, and Amit Padhi had done the music arrangements for it. Okay. So that's okay. being rolled out now. Was uh, you know, first we just want to try out. The first two episodes of that series are, are out already. Yeah, yeah, they are. Okay. So this week there was one, and we thought we'll initially try with you know few like five ten. So the Sanskrit the scripts, time. the ancient Sanskrit script, presented musically. Uh, musically. Ancient uh, Tamil. Tamil. Oh Tamil. yeah, Tamil. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Who are the music directors or music composers you 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 want to work with in future? Shankar Esalvaya. Shankar Esalvaya. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't require any thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we start with the rapid fire now? Oh my God! Okay, I I was not aware of this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, rapid fire has to be there. So no interviews without rapid fire. Okay. Sure. Carnatic classical or Hindustan classical? Oh my God! This is like it's unfair totally. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say Hindustan classical. So far. I've come for so a Hindustan fest, so I might as well say that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Vocal or instrumental? Vocal. Vocal, yeah, okay. Any day. Deepika Varadkar, uh, vocalist or uh, voice over artist? Vocalist, any day. Which one is your favorite? Vocalist because I do this only. That yeah. is like very rarely people say like you know, just do and then. But you are damn good at that also. Yeah, probably again that's God's grace, but I keep it strictly with singing. Yeah, so you have uh, restricted yeah, your. Yeah, very much. Uh, live concerts or playbacks? Hmm, very difficult. I have to say, like, it's like 
both on par. Both, both on par. Okay. But still, like, what honestly, is? Honestly, because I love doing recordings as much as I do. Okay. Performances, yeah. You have been here since yesterday. How is your how your experience have been till now? Oh, I think it's been fabulous. Thank you for being amazing host first of yeah, all. Yeah, no, like, no. you and your daughter and the rest of your family. It's been amazing. Um, I'm very happy to have met uh, Guruji. Guruji, also. yeah. yeah. So I'm really looking forward to performing, and uh, you know, it's been like the little of the city that I've got to see. It's it's a very nice vibe, and they have had a good time so far. This is my first time visit to. Sambhaji. Sambhaji Nagar. So, yeah. yeah, looking forward. Yeah, Western kind of a recording or devotional kind of a recording style genre. Oh no, I just like to wear my headphones and sing. Can be anything. Can be anything. Can be anything. Yeah. So there is no. Hmm, nothing. Nothing. No. No difference. Because I, a lot like especially from the beginning of the pandemic, like I've got my own setup at home to record myself. Yeah. Yeah. So I am like I really. Hours together, they just fly by when I'm recording myself. So I'm very happy in that space. Yeah, cool. Another question is, what kind of a song hmm. would you like to sing the next for Red Square Entertainment? Oh, okay. What kind of uh, meaning, like the genre you're saying? The or? genre, genre. I'm asking a language. Ah, uh, I think since you've done Hindi, keep specifying it as a classification. <laughs> No, I think we should do like a <clears throat> Marathi traditional piece. Marathi traditional yeah, piece. Yeah, yeah. Since you've done Hindi. Yeah. Noted. <laughs> so Marathi traditional piece. Yeah, something which which <laughs> resonates to the traditional music of Maharashtra. Marathi. Yeah, Maharashtra. So you want a Marathi folk or Marathi classical Marathi version? Classical. Okay, we'll soon come <laughs> up with that also. Are you planning to you know? Uh, give your contribution to other Marathi genres also. In the sense, like so, like as you said, Marathi classical. There are so mm-hmm. many folk versions of Marathi music. Mm-hmm. So there are devotional Marathi songs like yeah. Abhangas. Yeah. Another form of uh, folk music is like you must have heard Malhari. Mm-hmm. So that is another folk version. There is Gondar. Mm-hmm. So Gondar is uh, Mata Rani's uh, uh, similar to Jagrata. Okay. As there is Jagrata in north, mm. in the northern part of India, here we call it a Gondar, okay. Jagran and Gondar. Mm. So apart from Gondar, there is Jogwa. Jogwa is also Marathi folk mm. version, and there is Lavni also. So Lavni is altogether different. You must have heard Lavni also. Mm. So any of this sort, you would no, definitely. Like I'd love to sing any of these. You know, given an opportunity to learn them or present them, definitely, definitely. Because the instruments being used will yeah, be folk. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. But cool. So, as we all know, so India is a place where there is unity in diversity. But we are actually, you know, very rich people to have these traditions. Yeah, true. I think you will also agree yeah, true, with me true. on this. So, guys, I think uh, we have discussed a lot on music, and uh, uh, we thank you uh, uh, very much. Uh, for giving time for this interview thank you so much for having me and uh, awesome. i think we had an amazing interview here and wish you all the best thank and so uh, for today's performance and your future music journey thank you thank, thank you, you very much guys thank you so much <laughs> Tushubha